So hi guys, uh, so in the last video we were able to create a Python application or a Python code which was able to convert those 15 kilometers to miles, to yards, to feet and to nautical miles. And as I mentioned in the previous video, um, we've got a slight problem here. If uh, now I wish to convert, let's say, 25 kilometers or 32 kilometers to those uh, different units, I would have to type that new number every time in here. And that makes my application error prone. It, I, I am supposed to repeat myself so many times. And this is one of the basic principles that um, I want to um, have you take away from this course is that the principle of dry D-R-Y, do not repeat yourself. When you, when you program something, everything should be typed just once. And that thing, that 15, should be typed somewhere once, and that's it. And everybody should rely on that one thing. And if you change that one thing, that, that should reflect everywhere that thing is. Now, that thing, what I'm talking about, is called variables. Now, what is a variable? Well, a variable can be seen as a container. And this container has an address. It points to an object. I think the best way to show you how a variable functions if I is uh, in Excel. So here I have Excel. And let's say I put in here um, something like a number, 13. So that, that is my object, okay? Let's, let's just uh, center everything. Right, now, if I need something to point to that object, in Excel you create what, what we call a, a cell reference, and basically just go like equals and then click on that cell. So that, that is my variable. This variable, this is my variable. And this variable does not contain the 13, but it points to that location or to that address where that 13 is. And now I can use that variable. Yeah, I can use that everywhere else. And I can say here, like, for instance, uh, equal this times 2 gets 26. Equal this plus 17 equals so much. Equal this divided by 2 is so much. Okay? So, and the only thing I've got to do now, if I need to change that 13 to another number, all I've got to do is go here and let's say 26, and you see everything reflects that change. You see, and exactly, that's, that's, that's the principle behind variables. A variable is a container, and it contains an object, be it a number, be it a string, i.e. text, be it anything else. And that variable gets used everywhere, the way we do here. Our variable, in this case, is the h6. That's where, that's our variable, h6. And you see, I'm using h6 everywhere. Why? because that makes my application much more flexible because now if i need to change the value all i gotta do is go to that object change that value and my variable changes and also everything else where that variable is located or or uh, or is in gets changed as well and we're going to do the same thing in python so in python i don't have to do a lot all i have to do now is basically turn Turn, switch off that comment or basically reduce that comment to just contain this and then now I've got my first variable here let's call that kilometer value remember variables in um, in Python do not allow empty spaces so I, that's why I just uh, combine these two with an underscore same thing here that my first variable that's my kilometer value now i'm going to have my conversion factors also as variables so i'm just going to add those underscores 
and let me do them for the rest so I just changed I just created those variables kilometer value kilometer to miles factor kilometer to yards factor kilometer to feet and kilometer to nautical miles so I've got my factors now all I gotta do is change those values those constants or, or sorry basically substitute those constants with those variables and the way it looks will be the following so now you see I've substituted the constants with the variables and now instead of a 15 and a 0.62 I have here the variables and you see in, 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 in developing applications you don't care so much for the actual values but you work with the variables more than anything else it is like with those people proficient in Excel you work mainly with those cell references more than the actual values in those cells and the same thing is valid here for programming uh, in any language be it Python C whatever your work is mainly with variables less you don't care so much for the values so we've now convert our program to that I'm gonna save that and have it run and Now I've run it and you see it just giving me the values that I needed. And the nice thing about this application now, if I need to change uh, the kilometers to any other number, all I have to do is change it here. This is what I mean with dry, don't repeat yourself. I don't have to change the, that kilometer, any kilometer value anywhere else but here. And I just put in 32, save that, run it and voila i have now the kilometer uh, the, the conversion of 32 kilometers and if i need to change it to another value doesn't matter what just save f5 and voila now i have that conversion so you see now the program this is now an effective application because i can change my kilometers any in just one place and have those changes reflected in multiple places here and now and now basically i don't care how many conversions we're going to be doing i still have to change the value only in one place so uh, let's go back to our 32 for instance save it and f5 and you see here i'm getting the right numbers but you know they don't look that pretty uh, those multiple decimal places they don't the numbers don't look that great so how can I, uh, you know, improve that? Uh, there is a function in, uh, in, uh, in Python called round, which rounds a number to an X amount of decimal places that you need. So the way we use it is like with any other function, you start off with the name. So basically I wish to round that to two decimal places. So there are two ways of doing it. Let's do the first way, the, the direct way. The direct way is basically like this. The function name is called round. So round, open paren, and after that, close paren. So now what happens is first that gets calculated. First, this part gets calculated, the kilometer value times the kilometer to miles factor. Then this number, whatever it is, gets rounded, and then it gets printed now I think I forgot one thing round the function round takes two inputs one is this the multiplication multiplication and second is to how many decimal places do you wish to round to and that would be a number two so basically here different to print print takes only one input one parameter and that's why you only have one thing between the uh, parentheses round takes two parameters one is the value you wish to round and that is basically the result of this multiplication and second of all to how many places or how many decimal places do you wish to round to and that would be the second argument to that function so this is here same same thing as print yeah you got the name you got the parents but in contrast to print this one requires two parameters instead of just one and let's run that code let's save that and run it and you see now I've rounded the 19.883872 to just 19.88 and this is the way you use round and obviously if you do not want any decimal places you just say zero save it f5 
And now you see the 19.88 uh, got rounded up to 20.0. Uh, we can do the same thing with the others. Let me just do that. So I've now rounded all my uh, outputs to two decimal places. And if I save, save it, let's save it and run it, F5. And now you see I've rounded all my all my outputs to two decimal places. This one is 8.1 and this one 0.6 because it is 6.60, 8.10. How to get it definitely to two places, uh, two places uh, behind the decimal, I'll show you in, a, in, a, in, a, in the next video. Let me just show you, first of all, a different way of converting or rounding those uh, numbers. Um, let me just go back to the um, initial stage. That was the initial stage before rounding. Now, what some people can do is, or what you can do, is basically not have the calculation in here, but define a variable holding that calculation. So for instance, you can go like this, uh, kilometer to miles conversion. And that's what I mean with clear programming. I like to have variable names which say or which explain exactly what is happening. So kilometer to miles conversion, pretty clear. And now I just take that formula, take that formula, and put it in here and then what i print i don't print the multiplication anymore but what i print is that variable and if i want to take it a step further let's let's do the other one it's basically the same thing what i'm doing here is the same thing as the previous example is that what i'm doing here i'm having some variables in between which do all the calculation and then just printing those variables it doesn't matter how you do it uh, the result is the end result is the same let's do a second variable kilometer to uh, yards conversion and that one would hold that formula uh, let's cut it right and I can what I can also do I can have that rounding take place here round and two and then here round and two so and then here I just insert those variables okay so you see in this case here I don't have any variables in between. Here, I just created those two variables doing all the work, and they and just all I have to do now is just print those two variables. And if I save that and, uh, and F5, I would then get the same results as before, albeit the first two are rounded, and obviously the other two are not rounded. Should I need to round these as well? Well, we just, just take the code from previously, and you see here the two ways of basically uh, handling an issue and there you go now which which thing is preferable well that's up to you it depends on what you're planning to do if you're for instance this method this method is very effective if you're not planning to do anything else with that calculation so if you're saying all I need is for that for that calculation, all I need is for that calculation to be printed to the screen, then it is more than enough to have just a, to have that take place within a print statement, okay? And within a round function, if you're just planning to output it. However, if you're planning to use this value, the value out of this calculation, out of this rounding, if you're planning to use this value in other places in your application, then it makes sense to create a vari variable holding all that calculation and that rounding. And then all you have got to do is basically use that variable further down in your application. So if anything sh should change on that, uh, in the value of that, you just, it just takes place in one place, which is basically here.
Okay, so it, it really depends. Some sometimes in your application you have some trivial information that you wish to output and you don't need further down uh, in your program. Well, then it makes sense to use this method. Just print it out, or basically do all the calculation, all the rounding within the print statement. However, if you're planning to use that the value out of a specific calculation and rounding and whatever, then just create a variable, have that variable do all the work, and then use that variable further downstream in your application without having to worry that, oh, if I need to change the value of that variable, well, it's no problem. Just go to that, to that thing where the variable is defined, and that's it. Okay, so I hope that uh, explains the, 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 the principle of variables and the, their importance and the way you could organize your program. Because the main thing in your application is that you, are, you, you only have one place where you change something and that reflects everywhere. And that can be set to kilometer value. It doesn't matter where it is. As you see, kilometer value is everywhere. So I just, but change I would do here and that would reflect any, everywhere. So that would be changed here, 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 here. And obviously these two as well because they depend on that. So you see, that's that, that's that's what I mean with dry. That you you just change, you just do not repeat yourself. You don't want to change one thing in multiple places in your application.